Hi, I'm here with Michael. How you doing? Hello. And we were just, uh, he's at, I'm here at the MCT Summit in San Francisco, and Michael is a visual studio trainer, and we were just talking about some of the aspects of visual studio or tools within it that are sometimes maybe either underused or underappreciated. And uh, you brought up workflow. Yes, yes, most definitely. Um, I've been using Visual Studio since it was in its beta version, and one thing that has always amazed me is the, the, the vast amount of components in the API that you can just pick off the shelf and apply to, to some purpose. Uh, I remember coding a check for determining whether it was a leap year or not. I would never even dream of something silly like that in .NET. But there's a few major areas that have been added that I think a lot of people are not uh, aware of, but they would they would really have a, a potentially significant uh, benefit. Workflow Foundation is, is really one of those areas that will potentially apply to everybody, all types of software, but most people don't know what it is. Um, I think of it this way. Any developer will agree the uh, design process is extremely important. And every developer knows what a flowchart is. And flowcharts are, are a very important way of understanding a process so that you can eventually turn to writing code that makes it so. But with Workflow Foundation, you, you, you're able to eliminate that second part. You create the flowchart, and that is the software. It's uh, a way of, of conceptually designing and building at the same time, and the result is something that's more maintainable. And uh, whether you're creating a, a sequential uh, flow through a sophisticated process or a state machine uh, environment, it allows you to take some of those complicated items that deal with the process as a whole and make it Microsoft's problem and you're able to focus on, again, what you need to do and not necessarily all the, the boilerplate coding that deals with what's happening beneath the scenes. Workflow Foundation, it is a flowchart that works. That's cool. So, so if I'm doing a process like, uh, just take a simple example, uh, expense processing, mm -hmm. something like that, that's got to be submitted and then it's got to be approved and, and you know, there's an approval that's sort of a, yes, we've received your receipts and logistically it's approved, but then managers have to approve it and then it has to be sent through to payroll. Is that the sort of it, stuff that fits into that? Absolutely. Every business process um, it can be modeled with workflow foundation. You basically have two choices. Are you going to follow some sequence and make decisions as to whether you're going to go one way or another, input and output, or are you dealing with a system that, ex that exists in one state and based on certain events moves to other states? Most developers will agree that those complicated state machines, that's where a lot of frustrating bugs happen and all the stuff that maintains that. But with workflow, you drag, you drop, you tell it what events and what to do next, and all of that stuff is it's not only dealt with automatically, but but um, but it's maintainable. It's easy to update in the future. And the best thing about the newer products uh, is that this graphical layer of abstraction, it, it's not magic. It's based on stuff that you still know, so that when you need to get deep into it, when you've got some complicated solution that really isn't addressed well by the author, the, the shelf piece. It, it's, it's automated, but it's still exposed. You can still get in there and you can tweak and manipulate it. Um, so instead of seeing a, a graphical tool that is good for one thing, a demo, you have a graphical tool that, as long as you understand it, uh, will give you a great way of increasing productivity almost all the time without forcing you into a corner and having to abandon it all because it's only a good promise. Nice. And it still leverages .NET, so my existing programming knowledge and so on is still going to be totally applicable? Absolutely. It is a .NET technology, and if, uh, if you're familiar with, uh, with XAML, uh, that's going to be very helpful, but it is based on the .NET platform, first available 2007, .NET 3.0. Nice. That's awesome. All right. So thank you very much, Michael. So thank you. Workflow Foundation, worth checking out.